Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to graph a linear function. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. A linear function, the most basic form you know, is in the form of f of x equals mx plus b, or y equals mx plus b here. There are a few components of that we should see. m and b are all real numbers to have it in a linear function here. m is the slope of the line. b is what we call our y-intercept, and these give us the clues here of how to graph this. Now one thing we should note about these linear functions in this form, f of x equals mx plus b, is they have a domain and range. Now the domain will be from negative infinity to positive infinity, if m and b are all real numbers. And the range will also be from negative infinity to positive infinity, unless one little thing, our slope is equal to zero. If our slope is equal to zero, our range will only be the value of our b value, and that's it. But everything else, any other slope out there, you'll have a range from negative infinity to positive infinity. So what does that actually look like? Well, we have our line here. We don't know what it is. That's our f of x equals mx plus b, right there. All right, so we have a line. Don't really know what the values are, but it doesn't really matter. We're just seeing it visually here. Our y-intercept is where the line crosses, as you can guess, the y-axis. And that happens at the point value 0 comma b, the y-intercept, good to know. From there, our slope is the other part. That is the rise over the run of the line. Slope m is equal to rise over run. How high in a given interval does it go? And how far does it go over is our rise over run? It's our change in a y, so we'll sometimes we'll see it like this. m equals a change in a y value over the change in the x value. Okay. So sometimes we'll see what that looks like here, but delta y means change, so change in the y value and change in the x, the rise over the run. Let's go hop on to Maple Learn here and explore and graph some functions, linear functions, with f of x equals mx plus b and see what they look like. So we want to go to learn.maplesoft.com for this nice little graphing tool. And there's a lot of other features that go along with the software. I'm going to just bring this over here so it's closer to our graph and well, we can see what's going on. Let's type in our y equals mx plus b. If we press the little light bulb here for quick actions, we can get parameterize m and b. Now we can see what's going on in our graph. We have the graph of just y equals x plus b. And notice it's in that form, y equals mx plus b. Now I'm going to set my little gear icon here, and I'm going to turn off continuous. And what that allows me to do is have the slope, if I go up, just move by units of 1. And I can go negative, down by 1. What about the b value? First, notice here, if I move it around, notice my slope is 2, my b value increases. The line has the same slope, but we go up and kind of down with it, where it crosses the y axis. Again, I'm going to press the gear icon here and turn off continuous. And that way we can move by units of 1. It makes it a little easier to see. So notice here we have an equation y equals 2x plus 2. Our y intercept is 2. It crosses the y axis at 2. And then our slope is a positive 2. We go up 2 units over 1, 1, 2 over 1, 1, 2 over 1. That rise overrun. If our slope is, well, negative 2, what happens? We still have the same y-intercept right here at y equals 2, or y value of 2, but our slope is a negative 2. That means we go down 2 units over 1 unit, down 2 units over 1 unit, or negative 2 is the same fraction as negative 4 over 2. Down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 2. Make sure you look at the key, what's going on right there. Again, if our b value becomes negative, we go bring this down, negative 4, let's say. 
And let's say our slope now is a positive, well, three. What happens here? We have a b value, right? We have equation y equals 3x minus 4. Our b value is equal to negative 4, while the slope is a positive 3, up 3 units over 1. 1, 2, 3 over 1. And we're going by a factor of 2 there. Okay, so that would be actually up 6 units over 2. We can zoom in on our graph if we want. Right here, we can, let me see. There we go. I'm using my scroll wheel on my mouse. And we can see a little closer now. So we have a slope. Now it might be easier to see. There we go. Our y-intercept, let's go make that. What happens if it's 0? Look at the equation. y equals 2x plus 0. Don't need to write plus 0 there, so we can write y equals 2x. Our slope is 2, 1, 2 over 1. Our slope goes to 3, up 1, 2, 3 over 1. And we go 4, I think you get the idea, or 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. Same thing with negative 5. We go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. Let's go bring the b value to be a positive, I don't know, 6, 7. And we can see it here. We have a slope of negative 5, b value of positive 7. Our equation is y equals negative 5x plus 7. Y-intercept right here is a 7. And our slope is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Down 5 units over a positive 1. I hope you learned something here on how to graph a linear function. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.